Hello everyone from the internet and welcome back to my video. So for today's video, we're going to build a rocket cone and SolidWorks, as you can see in the uh, title for my YouTube video. But unfortunately, the dimensions that I'm going to use are going to be from the SolidWorks official YouTube account. I wanted to focus on the rocket cone given by uh, the SolidWorks uh, YouTube account because it's a really good video for beginners. But in some of the videos, it goes a little bit fast paced. So as a beginner, I want to give some intro lessons for you guys. So without making you guys wait furthermore, let's get right into building our first rocket cone with you guys. So first things first, you get into SolidWorks. Then all you got to do is create a new file and then go to parts to make a 3D representation of our rocket cone. So before starting and doing anything else, what you want to do is go on the right down side of the screen and go to the parameters. And what you want to do is MMGS, meaning millimeters, gram, seconds. We want to do all of these in metric system. I know centimeters, kilograms, and meters are in metric, but what we want to do and use is millimeters, grams, and seconds. So we click on that. And then what we want to do is go here, if you want orientation, and then take the front view and click on front plane on the left side just to make sure we are on the front plane. Then what you want to do is go to sketch instead of features right here on the upper left side of the screen. And what you want to do is go to the small triangle next, next to the line and go to center line. So the center line will be like the middle of our rocket cone nose you will see that you will see what it will be used for in a few minutes and what you want to do and make sure is that your center line is going up straight so what you want to do is click it from down here in the intersection of the x and y axis and go straight up and you want to make sure that is straight and how you know that it's straight is on the right side of the pencil you can see a yellow marker which is straight and shows that the line is straight. So next you wanna click on Smart Dimensions and then press on the line and boom. All you gotta do is click it once and then it will come out. You don't need to drag it. You just need to click on once it will come and then click it once again. And the uh, dimensions for this one are gonna be 78.5 millimeters. This is These are not my dimensions. These are the dimensions used on the Rocket Cone design video for SOLIDWORKS and next step what we want to do is click on smart dimensions because we don't need any dimensions and click on the line tool and what you want to do now is make sure you are aligned from this point and you will know because it will show like dot 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 so that is a good sign so you click once and make sure you go straight up again it can be anywhere just go up click again and make sure you go on the right side. So for you, if you want to go horizontally right and you want to make sure that you are parallel, it can show you with the yellow horizontal line. So you know you are doing everything correctly. And now what you want to do is press escape because you don't need this anymore. And now we need the dimensions from this point to this point and this point to this point. So to do that, you click smart dimensions you click the initial of the point of the center line and then you click the initial point of the line we drew. And as you can see, it's 20.93 millimeters. Instead of that, we want to use 12 millimeters and press enter. Next step, we want the dimension from this point to this point. When you see this, do not worry. Don't panic, everything is fine. Just make sure you just go down and everything will adjust by its own and click it again. And we want the dimension from this point to this point be 12.5 millimeters. All right, everything is good. Now we need to click Smart Dimensions because we're done using that and click on Spline. Spline is very useful. As you can see, it's gonna make like curved lines, which is very cool because we don't want a very pointy rocket cone. So Spline is very useful. So click on Spline. Zoom out a little bit and click at the end of the center line. And boom, we are done. Just press escape once you clicked on the end of the center line. And what you want to do now is click on this line. And as you can see, there, there are a few um, arrows on here. What you want to do is click the arrow that is closest to this point. And what you want to do is 
click it and tilt it a little bit and then what you want to do is go to the left side of the screen and press vertical zoom out a little bit go to the other point or the other arrow tilt it a little bit and press horizontal so as you can see right now this is our rocket cone so you can tell obviously this is not aerodynamic or no rocket is built like this their rocket their uh, cone so what you want to do now is go to smart dimensions and adjust the dimensions all you got to do is click on smart dimensions zoom in a little bit and click on the arrow that you were pulling earlier and boom what you want to do now is convert this to 15 millimeters and boom it zoomed in a little bit now what you want to do is while you're still at smart dimensions you want to go back to this arrow click it again click here and convert this to 125 millimeters all right that will be all for our smart dimensions now what you want to do is create a thick layer in the cone so all you got to do is go to offset and entities which is right here click it once and as you can see the parameters are going to be 10 millimeters which is very thick so instead of doing that we're going to use 1.25 millimeters of thickness for our rocket cone and all you got to do after putting that parameter in is click it once click the line once and boom unfortunately we do not want this thickness to go outside we want it to be inward so as you can see there's a yellow line that goes here and there what you're gonna do is click it once here and then boom it came in so everything is going as planned and now what you want to do is close in their remaining dots their remaining points so that everything intersects so what you want to do now is click this point and this point now we know like this part is closed and the other point is from here to here and boom you know that everything is closed in a, in a plane when you know like the center of it turns gray so we know that everything we did was correct from this point on so what we want to do now is go to features and go to revolved boss slash base this will make this plane revolve 360 degrees and give us finally our rocket cone so all we got to do is click it and as you can see it does this which means i clicked uh, some other planes or some other lines which is wrong so all you got to do is just click on this line and boom we have our rocket cone and all you want to do is press right and we are done I know my explanation was a bit rough but it's a bit slower compared to the video shown from SolidWorks I hope this video helped if it did please consider giving it a like and subscribing and I will see you next time until then take it easy and bye bye